Well, I saw that it did have a possibility. I, I took uh, a look at the census, and at the time there were 60 million dwelling units around. And then I uh, figured out, well, what if I put a dimmer in every one of them? And then I multiplied by what it was selling for at that time. And then, gee, this, is a, this could be a reasonable business. So it had potential. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, uh, today we have uh, more than one dimmer in every American home, even though it's gone from 60 million to uh, about 110 million. Well, I can tell you one thing. In the development of the electronic dimming balance, which everybody declared it could not be done, but it is done today, and, and we've licensed uh, uh, big companies all over the world for this technology. I started out and I had, a, I had to use a semiconductor, a transistor, a big power transistor that cost $300. And the first thing I did is I put it into the circuit, I turned it on and bang, it died. So I was a little uh, vexed at this and I didn't do anything for the whole day trying to figure out what I did wrong. So the next day I, I tried it again. And after an hour, it died. And there were six solid months. Every day, I burned out a $300 transistor. But I only burned out one a day because we couldn't afford it anymore <laughs> at that time. And $300 at that, in, the, in, the, uh, in the 60s was a lot, a lot of money. An engineer's life is full of junk. But I mean, you see, you always, you're always working on the thing uh, and it's junk until it, it's been made to work. Then it works. And so, okay, that's done. What's next?